Hello and welcome to Infinity. I'm going to do an edit of this image using my partial TST or tint shades and tones macro and you can find them through the link below. What you can do with these is um, when you click them nothing changes here because you have to go to the white thing here which is a procedural texture you double click that and that changes. You can also click all three of them one after the other and you'll get three layers here because each time what they effectively do is they take a copy of the background and then they apply the adjustability next to it. So I'm going to start off with the tone at the top here and I'm going to double click on the white there which brings up the texture here and when doing this uh, one of the tips is to start off turn the hard hardness right up that doesn't happen uh, nothing seems to happen until you start changing here because you'll get a fairly sharp effect with this you get things like here like a hard edges in there but it lets you see where you're going because if you start from the bottom and start moving things up you're not going to see a great deal so start with the hardness up go until it, it's looking somewhere like where you want it to be and then turn the hardness down until it looks kind of okay so that's one way another way of doing this uh, is to turn off everything except the layer you are editing and you'll see why now is now you can see only what is being selected in that layer so now when I turn things up and down here you can see what I'm selecting. Yeah, and if I go all the way to the top, you can see those hard bits coming in. But as I come down, and the lower you are, the more effectively black and white you're going to be. As you turn it up, it'll pick up more colour. So I'm going to go somewhere here. I don't want to pick up the colour, I just want to pick up the monochrome. So I'm not going to stray too far into that. You can make small adjustments with the fine tone, which is 10%. Well, the top one is 90%. And when you like what you've got, then you can start doing things with it. What I'm going to do with it is I'm going to click the, the top layer here because I'm going to make a mask. So I've create mask and spare channel from there, the macro. And that's going to use this one now. And I'm going to turn that one off, turn on the original layer because I've now got a mask. I've also got to go to the channels tab down here. I've got it in here. I tend to use this one. The mask is there really for people who want to, like to use a mask. So I'm going to delete the mask. I don't need it. So now I'm going to put on a curves here. I'm going to turn up this, but now let's do it with LAB. So it's just tones. So I go to LAB and then lightness, and this is only going to be just the blacks and whites and it will miss out that. So I can turn this up here. As I turn this up, you can see it's kind of fading the colors a bit here and so on. But if I now right click the spare channel there and load to curves adjustment alpha, now it's constrained it from that tonal adjust. So now I've got far more natural control of this and it doesn't sort of fade out those colors. So I can bring up the, the whites in this quite nicely. I'll turn that off. What I'm going to do now though is I'm going to go to a, an HSL adjustment and I'm going to go for the colours this time. So I'm going to load the to HSL here this or right click and spare channel and bringing that in then hit control I which inverts it in other words it gives away you know forgets the tones and uses the rest which is more colourful. So now if I increase the saturation then the colours are coming up. Notice also with this, it's quite a natural way of doing it. It, it. it seldom makes a mess of things unless your hardness has been turned up too far. So that's quite nice. So now what else can I do? I'll go to the shades here, double click here, and this will start to bring in the darker areas. Let's try that again. Turn the hardness right up and go up until I'm getting sort of the shady areas I like. See, it's far too hard here at the moment, so I'm going to turn the hardness down more until all the crunchiness is gone. Then I'm going to play with this a bit more. So it adds just a little bit of depth to it. So these shadows appearing in things. See the way I'm bringing in the shadows just with this one control? 
and a bit of fine control for that if I want to. There, that'll do for that. And I'll try the tint. Sometimes these don't work so well. If you check all three on, play with them, you'll find out what is going to work well on this. So, yeah, see this is going a bit like that, so bring the hardness down so I haven't got those hard edges. Now what I'm doing here, that's a bit better there. So just that little bit of lightness in there. I'm going to bring this up until it, I get see problems appearing. Well, there we go. That's it. And just as a before and after, here's before and here's after. It's quite natural, very easy to use and very flexible as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.